In this tutorial, I want to show you how to use the easy mock-up templates for Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. This tutorial applies to all mock-up templates from the Vector Lab that have the easy mock-up templates logo. So let's go into Affinity Designer, and here's one of the mock-up templates. This is a men's front view. And the first thing we're going to want to do is open our Layers window. So let's go to View, Studio, Layers, and you'll see the setup for these layers is actually very simple, and that's why these are so easy to use. So let's go into another file, a graphic here, and I'm just gonna copy this, and let's go back into our t-shirt mockup template, and you'll see a layer called example graphic. We wanna turn the visibility of that off. Below that is a layer called your art. So let's just paste our graphic into this layer, and you can size it up or down. And the other thing you may notice is if you have an off-placement graphic, say like a sleeve graphic, it'll automatically be cropped out at the boundaries of the shirt. But I want this to be a chest graphic, so let's scale it up appropriately and put it in the right place. And the next thing I want to do is let's change our fabric color. So let's go down here to fabric color, and in our color sliders here, we can just assign this any color. We could do a gray, could do a blue, but the hardest color to mock up actually is black. I'll show you why. So let's turn down the saturation and let's turn this all the way to black and you'll notice all of those fabric ripples disappear. The highlights and the shadows disappear. The trick here is we don't want to use 100% black. We wanna use about an 85% black and that'll retain the shading with the fabric ripples. I'm gonna show you how to make those more contrasty here in a second, but let's make our background color a brighter color so that this t-shirt will pop off. We could go to 100% white, we could match the orange in the cheetah there. And last but not least, let's go up to the fabric shading contrast this is where we can control the highlights and the shadows in the fabric ripples. So let's just double click on this thumbnail here and you'll see that opens up our levels. The two we want to be concerned with are the black level and the white level. So to increase the darkness of those fabric ripples, you can move your black level over to the right and to pop the highlights a little bit, let's slide that white level to the left. And there's no right or wrong answer here. You just wanna move these sliders around until your shirt is looking really good. And I think this is looking really good, so now we can go to export this as a PNG or a JPEG file. And that's how to use the easy mock-up templates for Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo.